These are the only two guns outside of Europe. Yeah, that's, oh, that's light. The cool thing is it's completely ambidextrous. Just a really good, easy solution to all the guys who've got high-end scopes but don't want to switch in and out with their quick-release clips. We're just here with Henry from Beretta, New Zealand. So just going to have a quick chat about what's new on the market for you guys. So, yeah. So 2022 Seeker Show, um, the exciting thing for us is the Sarko 100. These are the only two guns outside of Europe. They've been flown in um, specifically for the show. Um, and after the show, we have to send them back. But at least it gives us so a So we're quite lucky. Oh, incredibly. <laughs> yeah, it gives you guys that opportunity to have a touch, have a feel. Uh, before they hit the market um, in the quarter, first quarter of next year. Cool. Um, so they're, they're the new top tier of the Sarko line. They sit right up the top um, above the 85. And the big news is that it's a multi-caliber gun. So you can swap the, swap the calibers over, simple screw underneath, barrel optics all come off, put another caliber on top, and um, when you do that, it holds the point of impact as well. So, And how much has changed from the 85 action? 85 this. action to this is completely different because of the lockup, but um, new extractor on this as well. Because of the receiver design, they've gone with a more lateral um, extraction system, twin plunger and a big extractor, whereas the 85 had a, had a more vertical um, thing. And it's basically to um, make sure that shell really ejects out from underneath that optics housing. And is the idea with this style of mounting, like this base we've got going here, yep. to have one of those clip-on scopes just go straight on there? Yeah, there's going to be multiple options. So clip-on scopes, um, Sarko QD rings yep. that are mounted on and you're able to move the scope. We also have on here a rail, um, which is a Sarko owned one, where you can put different size rings on that. And there is also going to be a Picatinny option as well. So. Cool. So plenty of options. And then adjustable stock on that? Yep, uh, on both of them, both? adjustable okay. stock, spring-loaded. Cool. Um, under the bottom, there's a little um, toolkit and holding um, thing. Oh, cool. So you put all your tools up in there to change your barrel out. Yep. Um, brand new trigger as well from Sarko. Um, six positions on it, so you can just put an Allen key up, turn it around from 750 grams all the way up. So preset on all six. All set. Cool. Yep. Light so you find units. the one you want. Absolutely. And stick it. Cool. Yep. Um, that's stainless with a um, uh, Aquatech coating over the top, so it's basically the next grade up from Cerakote. So this is above Cerakote? Above Cerakote, yep. Okay, cool, because so it use looks it, traditional blowing. But. It does, yep, but it's, we use it on our, um, on our A400 duck guns, okay. and it's been incredibly resilient in New Zealand conditions, so that's what we're doing And here. is this similar to what we've seen on the Benelli Lupo? It's this no, it's, it's slightly different again. Okay. Offers the same um, sort of protection, but different way. This is more of a coating, whereas it goes just a different application cool. process. Really. Okay. And then caliber availability everywhere from rimfire through, or no? Initially, it's going to be quite limited yeah. um, because clearly demand and price point. Yeah. Um, but we're going 308, um, 306, 300 wind mag, and 375 Holland and Holland. Really? Yeah, just a bit of an oddball. Um, traditional guys really like the Sarko oh, we'll wood, one, yeah. red buttstock, and of course that calibre has um, got quite a bit of heritage. They yeah. will be expanding that down the line, um, but just the initial launch, they are the calibres that really go off worldwide. So, cool. And yeah. then I can see different safety system. It kind of reminds me of what I've seen on a Blaza yep, style. Yep, absolutely. So completely call it the hunch bundle. Um, basically takes a firing pin out of, out of uh, use. So at the moment, the gun is live, ready to go. Um, if you pull that out, it completely locks the bolt and um, makes the gun completely inoperable. You can have a live um, round in the chamber, you can smack that up and down, it won't go off. Cool. If you want to release it while it's still safe, you just press the button on this side and the, the bolt will come so, out. So three position, it's so incredibly safe. And then same 85 mag still, yes, like very, the double release? Yeah, yep, double yep. release on the bottom, 85 mag. Uh, looks very similar. Um, you'll see this one is a 308, yeah. and because it's a multi-caliber gun, the the uh, action and uh, the magazine are all one length. Yes. Um, and so you have the spaces in the back depending on on which caliber, caliber you're going to end up with. And then yeah. barrels. So the idea I'm assuming is when it's available on the market. I want a 308, but I also want a 375. So I just buy a 375 barrel and mag. Yep. And, and the bolt, yeah. bolt, and just the face itself, or the whole bolt. The bolt, the whole bolt. Okay, yeah, at this cool. point. Um, and 
Yeah, I mean, if it's within the same uh, caliber group, like 6.5 Creed, 708, 308, you can use the same bolt for everything. Yeah. But when you go up to your Magnums, that's different. 300 So long versus short and medium actions. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, mainly bolt phase. Yeah. Cool. So we're just going to have a look at the Beretta BRX, which is Beretta's first ever rifle, to my understanding. Yeah, well, uh, first um, straight pull hunting rifle. They've straight done a lot rifle. of uh, military rifles and semi-automatics, yes. uh, but they've taken all that technology and put it into this. Cool. Um, so uh, an incredibly special gun that they've put a lot of technology into. Um, and as you can see, it's just simple, straight, back and forth. So incredibly quick, incredibly um, strong action. It's all been tested to NATO specifications. Cool. So they blocked the barrel, put a high pressure load, fired it, and it's all passed. Um, the cool thing is it's completely ambidextrous. So we can change the way it extracts either from the right or to the left, and um, also the bolt head um, over, and making you know pretty usable. For, so you um, could filming. actually do an extraction to the left with bolt hand on the right. Completely. Com- completely customise it. I'll show you this. It takes 30 seconds if I do it correctly. We come over here. At the moment, we've got the extraction on the right. I just press this button in and pull it out and simply turn it over. Now I have left hand extraction. On the bottom, I've done my fingers too many times, so I'll just do that. Push that little button down, swap it over. Now you have the left handed bolt. Put that back in. Now you have a fully left handed gun. Cool. That's how quick it is. Awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, another yeah. thing, it is um, like the 100, it is a multi calibre. So, again, two screws under here, barrel optics all come off, and you that can put cool. another calibre on top. Um, at the moment, we've only got the 308s in the country in very short supply. Yeah. Uh, we've only received about 30 something versus a few hundred that we need. Um, but it's really exciting. The industry has taken it up with, um, you know, great um, cool. enthusiasm yeah nice um, they got 300 wind mag and 306 going in production at the moment as well which we will see and further down the track we know they'll be doing creed war and, and other calibers so they're going to go quite mainstream with all the calibers yeah absolutely yeah, cool. yeah. and then similar finish to what we see on the sarco no well. this one at the moment is a standard blueing blue um so you know if you get one just give it a bit of love and tlc yeah um but uh that's how we've been able to keep the price point down. I mean, yeah. this for other brands, um, straight pull, the features, you're looking at at least twice the price. This is only, you know, what are we, October 22, so it's 2899, so it's incredibly yeah. aggressively priced. This is something, because it gives, like, just looking at it, I can see a lot of familiarities from looking at a Blaza. Yep. Um, bolt, action, all that. But yep. Blaza, you're looking. What starting eight thousand? Yeah. So yeah, yep. it's a pretty competitive price. It point. is. Yeah. And look, the the Blas is a fantastic gun. Don't get me wrong. Um, we just like the price point of this. And you know, the trigger here is a is a three position weighted trigger, um, and it's basically a hammer. So like a shotgun trigger that's been really refined. And that's one of the ways we keep the cost down. But apart from that, it offers a lot of the same functionality for a very awesome. attractive price. And then just as a bit off topic, but this looks. Familiar to dialing system I've seen on a Swarovski. Is yep. So yeah, absolutely great peering. This is a new Predator Eight. Yep. So this has come out Steiner by the Steiner. way. Steiner, Steiner yeah. Predator Eight. Um, it came out about a month ago. Um, of course, eight eight magnification range. So two to sixteen by forty two, which is what we have here, and we do have a three to twenty four by fifty for the long range guys. Ninety two percent light transmission. Um, nice hard. thirty nice thirty mil um, tube, and as you say, the dial. Um, on the top is completely user um, friendly so you're able to remove all the housing get your ballistics yep. and program your rings to wherever you like it and lock it back down yeah cool um, it's illuminated parallax um, they are an awesome scope and price point for these currently 2799 for the yep. 2 to 16 and 2999 for the 3 to 24 so okay. really aggressively priced and offer a hell of yep. a lot of features sonic silences we've got a few what do people need to know? Okay, so this is a new uh, Sonic Compact. It's an over-barrel. If you, especially if you're going to go for a shorter bush gun, yep. we specially made them shorter so it can push back further over the barrel towards the stock. It's modular. comes with five baffles. You can add more if you want to to get the, 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 uh, the silence even quieter. It comes in all the threads and different bushings for whatever... The barrel thickness or thickness on your, yeah. your rifle yeah uh show special 299 cool. and then what is so 
what is the actual term for when you open it up, right? Oh, yeah. I've always referred to it as a muzzle brake. Internal muzzle brake. So uh, that's what it's called, is an internal muzzle brake. So before you actually reach your baffles, you've got something to disperse more energy. Correct. And yep. also, every baffle has got the stainless steel insert. It's got a stainless steel insert, and that's not optional extra like other brands. So it just it comes, comes with. with it. Okay, cool. And then where are these made? Made in Denmark. They've got a, they're starting at the 17 HMR suppressor and they go up to a 45 uh, thickness for the magnums. Cool. So the, so the 40 is only for the non-magnums. Okay. Short, short cartridges. Yeah, and then 45. 45 is for everything long action. Okay, long action. So that's easy to remember. Short action, 40, long action, 45. 45. The Zeiss TDC. Now this thing is amazing. This is an awesome crossover. Two functions. You can use this as a handheld or as an attachment onto your scope. Any scope you like, any size objective, just get the right clip on here. Has a few neat, real little good functions on it too. As you turn it up, it'll switch into standby mode. Um, amazing clarity on Zeiss, as you'd expect, and a really good price on it, seven grand. This will do both things. Don't forget, you can use it as a handheld or attach it to your scope. Just a quick question. Every time you take it on and off, it you have to reset zero. It holds zero. Because okay, cool. that's one thing zero. that a lot of brands won't necessarily okay. tell you. Yeah. Is it's cool to have a clip yeah, on. Yeah, it holds then... zero, holds multiple calibers, and you can access those calibers through your tablet or your iPhone, so you don't have to use the menu through here. Um, just a really good, easy solution to all the guys who've got high-end scopes, but don't want to switch in and out with mm. their quick-release clips. Yeah, cool. And then um, standard bunch of colours you can not work all on. All the colours, all the hot white, black colourways. Yeah, all yep. of the same colourways. Cool. Easy to use menu in there as well. Cool. Basic, straightforward, aluminium base. Um, what else? It's ambidextrous, so your right or left hand can use it. Cool. And then um, with that's your focus, menu button there, selecting power. Run time roughly on battery, is it internal battery or? Internal battery, yeah. and another beautiful, beautiful thing about this is it'll run while it's plugged in. So you can plug this in and run it off your battery bank. I think most things are going battery banks, so yeah. yeah. Internal battery, it has a great battery life on it. Cool. I haven't run it flat yet, it's been going all day. Oh, good man, yeah. This thing's nice. been thrashed, it's yeah. Been it's been a good few well. hours and a lot of interest in it as well? Heaps of interest. I think yeah. this is probably almost sold three, four times today. So cool. currently the only one here, but there is more coming in stock. Yeah, so this is the um, cross rifle by SIG, so it's a hybrid um, rifle. It's essentially a collaboration between uh, long range shooters and hunters. The problem with um, these types of particular style of rifles, um, the chassis rifles, is that they're too heavy to carry hunting. You know, it, it kills you going up the hill. Everyone wants lighter and lighter gear now. Um, these guys are coming in at 8 pounds, which is still a little on the heavy side um, for your standard configuration, which is 24 inch. Heaps of cool features. You've got. Um, a nice little depressible spring which you can push your cheek down and then lock it that's to the cool. position. Yeah. Instead up of and just having it low squeeze, it's hard to pull it up and down. Yeah, it nice. is, yeah, because it, you can't get it quite right. So you can actually do that whilst adjusting to your eye relief. Yeah, cool. um, you've got up and down for your um, pad, you've got in and out for your length of pull, you've got a couple of um, cutie sling points there either side, lefty oh, and righty yeah. friendly, oh, yeah. um, for your single point like mag pull, um, they do double as well. Um, you've got a folding stock here. Cool thing about the folding stock is that it's there's a little nib in there which stops it from ever being able to uh, fall out of place. So it's locked. Once it's locked in, it's locked in. So you're not going to miss um, click that or anything like that. It's, it's there. Vertical um, grip, adjustable trigger, 60 degree bolt, three locking lugs on the bolt, one piece rail. You've got a, um, a nice centered hand grab on the center gravity there for your carrying. This is all M lock. Um, now what seems to be coming through a lot more now. Um, I believe is the American Arca Rail stuff, um, so that's your slide-on bipods and big tripods. Yeah. They put that feature in there so you can have that accessibility as well. Um, mm. But if you don't want that, there's still the M lock on the okay. bottom. It's just like catering base, base. Best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's nice and light. Um, you've got a medium contour barrel, so it's not bull, it's not standard, it's a little bit heavier. Um, you've got a threading as well. I think that the threading is 5.8 um, by memory. 
uh, we can do it to whatever you like as well. Um, this is the standard 24 inch configuration. It's called the um, Born and Raised Edition. So that's the only configuration we're gonna have currently in New Zealand for the minimum length requirements. So um, from here to here to your barrel at this length, which is 20.5 inches, that's right on 30 inches um, for our minimum length. So that folds as well. So the stock folds around, um, locks onto the bolt. You can fire it with the bolt locked down. I probably wouldn't, um, but if there's a, a pig or something getting getting away from you and you haven't got it out of the bag um, that's an option and then you've got ambidextrous safety um, and your trigger is a adjustable as well so, be safe feel that oh yeah, it's got born and raised on the side as well yeah oh cool that's so a company, it's, it's heavy if you're a hunting rifle kind of guy yeah most but, hunting rifles will be about six and a half to seven pounds is the standard but considering mm. it's a chassis rifle yeah that's about as light as i've ever felt yeah. So. yeah so um this is a little bit different to a chassis rifle um in the fact that chassis are typically a drop in action so they're not um they're all they're not uniquely bedded um they're you know a lot of different brands will just drop a, an action and a barrel into a rifle. This is actually all milled as one piece. It's actually quite unique to this rifle. Um, this is sort of works like an AR-15 where it's a, a screw and barrel. Um, so you can actually, it's multiple caliber as well, um, which is quite cool. Yeah, well. um, so that's um, our only offerings at the moment is 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, we we'll hope to have some more calibers in the future. Um, they do make a really cool new 277 Fury, which is a um, like a hybrid new casing for ammunition. It's like a new technology coming through. And that's basically a, um, a steel base uh, with a brass upper. And they can up the pressures really high. So they can... What kind of money you got here? These guys here, um, you've got usually recommended retail is 5.2-ish. Um, so they're... they're you know, essentially you're getting two guns for one. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Competition shooting guys can use these and they've got all the familiar features as well. Yeah. So they can go and, and have a bit of a play and um, and then go hunting with it on the weekend if they want. Right. Many prices. What do we got? Okay, so we've got the new Zeiss long range scope, purpose built, long range or PRS shoot, 140 MOA dial, available MOA and Mulrad, daytime illumination, zero stop lockable windage, uh, and it's a 5 to 25 magnification made in Germany. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And is it a 30 mil tube or 34 mil? 34 mil tube. 34 mil tube, okay. And then do they come in a variety of options or is it only that 5 to 25? 3, 3 to 18 MOA or mole red. Yep. 5 to 25 MOA or mole red. Cool. And is this purely, so when you say it's a long range scope, it's purely built for a guy who's going to have a chassis set up or it's built for a hybrid hunter and. You can, it's quite weighty but if you're going to go longer and you're able to carry it long there's the scope for you that's the scope it's bolt long range okay cool. in mind and then how much for those guys who are going to spend their cash on it how much they're looking show at? special 5299 next week it will be 6500 the sour 404 it's a modular gun carbon fiber adjustable cheek piece the tool you take the gun apart with also adjust the cheek piece, goes into the back, you lock it, you get the barrel for the whatever caliber you would like, that just slides in there, can only go in one way. Uh, there you, there you go. go. And then you lock it up and show you guys. One, two, three, four in, push, lock. If you do a standard gun, it comes standard uh, bolt it. You pull that back, you slide it out. Change the caliber to either 223 or Magnum. This is a 308. Slip that back. Little pin underneath there. There you go. Magazine back into the gun. Sling stud. All gone. All gone. Nice. And then they come in a few different caliber, caliber options. Uh, from two to three, 
up to 300 wind mag. Cool. And then different safety system for sour than usually, right? Yes. So this here is a push button, very much similar to a blazer. Cool. And that's good to go now. Cool. And then you've got fluted barrel, thread on the front. M15. M15, okay. Yeah. We also got the suppressors for that. Nice little titanium ones. And then, um, so we just had a chat about the Sonics before. How are these compared to them in terms of noise reduction? So this is a bit quieter than a Sonic. Titanium insert, aluminium sleeve, very lightweight. There you go. Easy to clean. We just straight on to the gun. There you go. Yeah, and that's oh, that's light. For this, you look at the size and you just think, oh, it's gonna be heavy, but very light. Very light. Cool. Gun as well, lightweight, fluted barrel. Basically everything you could ever want. Trigger. There's four settings on the trigger. You can do it by yourself just by switching the the little mod. Let me show you that. I missed that. Cool feature. Over there. So oh, yeah, same tool. Four settings. Put it in there, and the lowest trigger weight will be 500 grams. Whoa. Just by the switch. Yep. And then you've used this to shoot what? Some nice animals. A nice big red. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that's a and then standard, just standard retail on these. Obviously, they'll be up there because it's such a cool gun. So eleven thousand dollars standard retail price, special for the Seeker Show, eight thousand dollars. <laughs>